It's that time again. <laughs> All right, so it has been a good while since I've done any kind of unboxing. I'm actually I'm pretty behind actually on stuff. There are other things that I want to unbox, but uh, anyhow, we'll get to that at some point. Right now, we are unboxing Tsukihime, the special edition version of Tsukihime. We're getting right into it, immediately getting into it. Wow, that is pretty. Now, before I actually go and show off this, I just want to say that I've been a big fan of Tsukihime, well, specifically Melty Blood, back in 2000. I remember downloading the first demo for Melty Blood, which only had two characters, CL, and uh, the main protagonist, Arkuit. And uh, absolutely love the Melty Blood games. And since then, I've kind of been getting into Type Moon stuff and uh, primarily Fate. Fate and uh, Tsukihime because of Melty Blood. And then in 2001, I bought this one here along with uh, the Queen of Heart 2001 from a place called Himea Shop. I was very obsessed with everything that this company put out at that time. They were called uh, Watanabe Seisakujo back then, but uh, they're now known as Furansupan or French Bread and absolutely love the Melty Blood games. There was also a uh, PS2 edition, oops, uh, PS2 Melty Blood games which came with a bunch of cool stuff. This one is Actress again. There were two PS2 games, uh, Act Cadenza, which is the one that's the cheaper one, and then there's Actress again, which uh, is the Ultimate Edition. But there is an even better version of this on Steam if you wanted to get into the original Melty Blood. And then, of course, there is Melty Blood for Nintendo Switch and PS4, the new Melty Blood, which is Type Lumina. This is the newest game. Uh, with this newer art style that I really like. I do hope that uh, we get a new anime adaption of Tsukihime. That would be excellent. But, and there was also a manga. I'm sorry. I say I do wish we had an anime adaption. This series did get an anime adaption called Shingetsu Tan Tsukihime. And it was, it was just terrible. It was not, it was not good. I hated it. If you weren't familiar with this series, then you can probably say, oh yeah, it's fine or whatever, but let me tell you, if you've familiarized yourself with the original story, or even read these mangas, these mangas are a pretty good adaption. Uh, unfortunately, the physical mangas, only six volumes ever came out by DR Master, and uh, you can read them all online. Everyone is, they've, they've scanlated every volume of Tsukihime, so you can now actually read this from start to finish and I highly recommend the manga. The manga is a pretty good adaption, much better than the anime. Anyhow, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this unboxing, which is Tsukihime, A Piece of Blue Glass Moon is the subtitle for this one. This is basically a reboot of Tsukihime. The original game was a visual novel and this is a reboot of that same visual novel so the story is for the most part the same but this is a retelling this is a retelling of that story so i'm excited i don't really get into much visual novels but this one is going to be an exception because of the fact that i love tsukihime and melty blood love this series i have tons of collectible stuff throughout the years uh, and I just love it. So let's go ahead and bust the seal on Tsukihime. I like that uh, the Anime Plex logo is on here. It kind of makes me feel like maybe we'll get a new, a new anime. Which I hope is the case. I hope we get a new anime of Tsukihime. The original game I should mention which I should have mentioned in the beginning, it was a doujin game. Doujins are made by smaller companies. And Type Moon at the time was just like four people. 
and they're a much bigger company. Fate Stay Night was their first commercial release when they stopped being an independent company. <laughs> That's just, ah, uh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. We'll put this down for now. Wow. I absolutely love this artwork. Arkwood Brunstad. She's the main girl. And then CL. Dude, the story in this is pretty effed up, too. I'm excited to get into it. This is the story of a boy and vampires. Tsukihime literally means moon princess and this character here without giving away too much she is a vampire more or less. All right, let's put that down for now. Let's see what else is in here. What is this a coaster? What does it say? Just how beautiful the moon is tonight. Do I take this out? I don't know what I do with this. Should I take it out? I kind of want to bend this, but I already did. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the purpose of this, this thing is. I already took it out. Is there anything else under this box? Perhaps. I think that's it. I think uh, this only comes with the game and I think a book or something. Man, I didn't even show you guys the back of this box. Oh my gosh. Nothing really in there. These are lines. The lines of life. What is this? An art book or what? Material of Blue Glass Moon. This is this book contains spoilers for the entire game. Please wait to enjoy it until after you have completed all routes. Oh my gosh. That's right. This game has like... Uh, four routes, I believe. Maybe more. It might have more. So do I even want to open this? Makes for a pretty uneventful unboxing if I don't, though. Maybe we'll skim through it. Alright, can I carefully open this? I will want to keep that sticker that's on here. Put it somewhere. All right, here we go. Here is our book. Why is there a one here? What is that telling us? Is there gonna be more? The English logo? Whoever did the English language logo did an incredible job. Really cool. This almost looks like a stake right here. And then that looks like the silhouette of the moon. That is good, good logo work. This is just a sleeve. Wow. This is like a mat, like a journal type. Look at Arcuid. Such a playful soul until she rips things apart with her bare hands. Because that's something that happens. That is something she does. She likes to tear things apart. But uh, so do a lot of characters in here. Fair warning too, if you ever do get to play Tsukihime. Tsukihime is, uh, Sukuhime. Tsukihime is violent. It is a very, it is a very violent a violent game. I love that. Frenzied Arcuid or Crimson Crimson Arcuid. This is basically just an art book. It doesn't give away too much so far. Not that I can see. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, she is. Let me uh move this up here because she was uh she was completely naked. <laughs> she was not wearing any clothing whatsoever. So here's our main boy, Shikitono. Nice jacket. 
That's his sister. This girl is his sister. She has the hots for him or something. I don't know. That's weird. It's weird. All right. I'm not sure where the spoiler parts are, but... Uh... Vlov. Oh, yeah. There's new characters in this one, too. Mario Gallo Bestino. No idea who that is either. Friends, classmates. Wow, that guy looks freaky. Maps of places. Wow, very cool. I'm not sure where the... Oh, I see. I think at the very end there were... There were some images that were spoilery, but uh, the beginning is mostly just maybe not read the descriptions. The, reading the descriptions will be spoilers, but uh, wow. So that's pretty much it here. As far as the game goes, I can't really show you too much footage of it because it is a visual novel, so there isn't a whole lot. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside the actual game now. Please let there be something inside. Most of you people who know me know what my pet peeve is when opening these. And uh, that's the printing inside. Hopefully there is printing. There is. Albeit very plain, but there is printing. Very stylish. Compared to just a white piece of paper. So that's cool. But... Yes, as I was saying earlier, this game is a visual novel, so there isn't really much in the way to show as far as game footage. It is basically a book with some animated bits in it and voice acting and such. Beautiful introduction to the game. And uh, the actual game parts are basically just a novel. You're reading... You make choices. You go through different routes. This game is going to take a long time to go through the many different routes. Because the game is pretty long. Um, or the novel is pretty long. Like I said, I don't really dig into visual novels that much. But in the case of Tsukihime, I will definitely make an exception. This will be the first time we get an official release of this game in English language. Um... We did get some Melty Blood iterations in English, but kind of don't make sense if you don't know the original story. So this will definitely help with that. And uh, I find that pretty amazing. I find that pretty amazing that we finally get to have Tsukihime in English. I like this. It's like embossed text. Very beautiful. Very beautiful box set. Would have been cool if it came with a soundtrack CD, but... Uh, an art book is cool too. I'm a big fan of music CDs and stuff. But uh, anyhow, that's going to do it for this unboxing of the Tsukihime Limited Edition box set from Amazon. Uh, let me know down in the comments, do you guys know this series? Do you know what Tsukihime is? If you don't, do you know what Melty Blood is? Are you familiar with Melty Blood if you're a fighting game fan? And if you haven't heard of it, is this, is this something that that might sound interesting to you, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. And if you watched the video to this point, our word of the day is Moon Princess Bless. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, anyhow, thanks everyone for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.